Light is an exciting thing. Light particles are among the smallest building blocks of our universe, and light is probably also the most important carrier of information in space. Currently, thousands of scientists worldwide are researching the hidden properties of light and light effects that we as humans can take advantage of. German researchers recently succeeded in condensing light for the first time, and a mysterious glow has appeared in the cosmos that researchers simply cannot explain. We'll take a closer look at these two phenomena and other topics related to light in this video. Before we start, however, we would like to ask you to make an important contribution to our work. You can do that easily by subscribing to our channel now, activating the notification bell, and giving us a like at the end of the video if you enjoyed it. We'll get started now with the world's first light condensate. Condensed Light Forms Super Photons We all know about states of matter from physics and chemistry classes, but did you know that states of aggregation also exist in the world of atoms and light particles? With water, this process seems quite natural, but with light, or the building blocks of matter. These transformation processes seem downright fantastic. When water changes from the vapor state to the liquid state, it is said to condense. In the case of water, this change of state occurs as soon as the temperature falls below 100 degrees Celsius. This is an effect that we are all familiar with from everyday life. You probably see condensed water every day on the lid of your cooking pot or even on the rim of your coffee or teacup. Similar to water, phase transitions also occur in other gases, elements, and even particles such as light and atoms. Admittedly, condensing light sounds a bit crazy to us at first. Unlike water vapor, we can't see or create condensed light just like that. For a long time, even science was unable to do so. But recently, German scientists succeeded in doing what had long been known only in theory. A group of researchers from Bonn experimented with thermodynamic properties of light and found out how these properties can be useful. Water, for example, can store twice as much thermal energy in its liquid state as in its gaseous state. The fact that water vapor loses heat so quickly causes it to cool down fairly quickly and condense as condensation. Photons, or light particles, also condense if you cool them down far enough. In this process, photons exhibit an exciting phenomenon. Many thousands of light particles then suddenly merge into a single super photon, and this has quite unusual properties. In physics, this photon is called Bose-Einstein condensate. The existence of this condensate was known so far only theoretically. It was predicted by the physicist Satendra Nath Bose, and Albert Einstein. The Indian scientist Satendra Nath Bose created a list of particles that behave in a very specific way under condensation. These particles are now called bosons. Bosons are indistinguishable particles that are predominantly in the same quantum mechanical state and form common systems. Bose and Einstein described the extreme aggregate states of these special particles, which also include photons and atoms. What Bose and Einstein predicted only in thought and mathematical models, scientists at the University of Bonn have now turned into reality. They have transformed photon gas into a condensate by cooling. In a laboratory experiment, this phase transition showed exactly the properties that Bose and Einstein predicted almost 100 years ago. Similar to water, light also shows a sudden increase in heat storage capacity during condensation. Martin Weitz of the Institute of Applied Physics told the press, this behavior was already known from condensing atoms, but this is the first time this phenomenon has been demonstrated for a condensate of light. Atoms also form a Bose-Einstein condensate. When they cool very strongly, they fuse into a giant atom and change their heat storage capacity. The heat content of the photon gas changes not only when it condenses into a giant photon, but also depending on the ambient temperature. Now, of course, we can ask ourselves what such experiments are good for in the first place. This is actually quite simple. On the one hand, it's still a matter of proving formulas that have existed so far only in theory. On the other hand, by studying the behavior of particles, researchers hope to find out about the building blocks and dynamics of our reality. Incidentally, in experiments like these, researchers keep finding effects that can be put to practical use. In the future, knowledge about the thermal properties of light condensate will facilitate the construction of high-precision thermometers, and these are of great value 
in the work of scientists. Ghostly light around our solar system revealed. Researchers analyzing data from the Hubble Space Telescope have made a strange discovery. Our solar system is surrounded by light so fine and thin that it appears almost ghostly. If you take away all the light from stars, planets, and even the sunlight reflected by dust, there is always some residual light left in our solar system. Astronomers are puzzled by this phenomenon and are trying to find the source of this mysterious glow. As part of the Sky Surf project, some 200,000 Hubble images were examined. When scientists removed all known sources of light from the images, they were left with a pale, excess glow whose sources cannot yet be explained. The steady, faint glow suggests a previously unknown structure in our solar system. This mysterious structure could be a gigantic ball of the finest and hardly measurable dust which envelops our whole solar system. This idea is supported by data from NASA's New Horizons mission. The probe passed the dwarf planet Pluto in 2015 and is now on its journey into interstellar space. New Horizons already detected a faint light source at the far edge of the solar system. However, this was even fainter than the light data now obtained from the Hubble images. Can these phenomena really only be explained by dust? Tim Carleton of the Arizona State University is of the opinion that the measured light comes from a so far unknown source from the interior of the solar system. It could be a completely new element in our solar system. The theory of the dust ball against it could be explained quite simply by the activity of comets in our solar system. These heavenly bodies from stone and ice cross the solar system on irregular courses. When they approach the sun, they heat up and emit dust and ice particles. This could explain why there is a dust sphere that has remained hidden until now. Invisible light in the cosmos. Light is basically nothing more than the visible part of electromagnetic radiation. Light itself consists of oscillating energy particles, which in physics are called photons. Photons in turn consist of quanta. Our whole cosmos is filled with radiations in different frequency ranges. These always propagate in a straight line in waves. Rays change their direction only if they are deflected, refracted, or scattered by objects. The human eye can only perceive radiation in the wavelength range from 380 to 780 nanometers. We know this range as visible light. However, light also exists in other wavelength ranges that we humans cannot see. These include infrared, X-ray, and UV rays. Many objects such as trees, plants, animals, but also we ourselves do not seem to have any luminosity of their own. We normally only become visible when we are illuminated by the light of the sun or an artificial light source such as a light bulb. If these two light sources are not present, it is pitch black for our eyes. Nevertheless, light exists even in this seemingly absolute darkness. That also you and I are in truth finest light sources shows, for example, the Kirlian photography. In the 1930s, the Soviet Armenian researcher Semyon Kirlian developed an imaging technique to make visible the fine electromagnetic radiation of living beings or even inanimate objects such as coins. Viewed with the naked eye, even the night sky appears pitch black to us. Light seems to emanate only from individual bodies such as the stars or the bright dust band of the Milky Way. Viewed with special telescopes, the cosmos brightens, appearing to be filled with a diffuse glow, though most of it is in wave bands invisible to us. The extragalactic background light, or EBL for short, radiates in the wave range from UV to infrared. Researchers found that this light is only partially produced by stars and other luminous events or objects. However, the vast majority must come from another as yet unknown source. The cosmic effect is similar to the already presented glow around our solar system, which was discovered by Hubble. Also, in the whole universe, a background light remains after deduction of all light sources and known scattering effects. As possible sources for this mysterious glow, currently dark matter and antimatter are traded. Light from another time. The cosmic microwave background radiation is also electromagnetic waves. Also, this kind of radiation is consequently a light potential to be, which we cannot see with our eyes, however. Researchers make the radiation of these waves visible by various filtering techniques. The cosmic background radiation is quasi the very first light of the cosmos. It was very probably already a component of the Big Bang, and according to the latest theories, 
this invisible light radiation could be even far older. Researchers compared old measurement data from the 1990s with improved images. They found evidence of objects and radiation in the structures that date back to the time before the beginning of our cosmos. This sounds very exciting at first, but we have to keep in mind that once again, science can only conjecture here. The signals of the background radiation are anything but easy to decipher. And often, different research groups come to fundamentally different interpretations. One interpretation of the strange light spots came to a surprising result. The scientists calculated the data back and found as possible source gigantic black holes, which existed before the beginning of our universe and our time calculation. If these interpretations are correct, our universe could have originated from a precursor universe, and this precursor universe consisted in its last hours practically only of a few extremely massive black holes. These collapsed for a reason not yet described in detail, and from this final event, a new universe was born directly afterwards. This could mean for our cosmos that in many billions of years, all matter has been absorbed by gigantic black holes. If these cosmic vacuum cleaners have finally swallowed all matter in themselves and have dissolved, a new universe is born from the potential. That sounds crazy and fascinating at the same time, or what do you think? Already today, it's known that light is a basic building block of the universe, and it seems to be one of the big keys to the secret of the whole creation. We can remain curious what new findings will reach us in the future and how our world will change as a result. This brings us to the end of the video, and as always, we ask you to leave some feedback. Tell us what you think about the light phenomena and which property of light surprised you the most. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time at Simply Space.